One on top of the quad. Still love you. There's nothing on this reserve for kids. Uh, there's no recreation going on for them right now on the reserve at all. A lot of them go, don't go to school, right? In the 1890s, the Canadian and the U.S. government began removing Native children from their families and communities, frequently by force, and placed them in what is known as residential, boarding, or mission schools. The, the white people or the government wanted land. They, they, their, their strategy was to get the natives all the land. And if they took our children, they were taking our future. And uh, that's what they did. Under the guise of education, under the guise of civilization, you, you take the kids, and before you know it, the parents are going to be nearby and off the land. And that was when we were taken away, and all, sh uh, all different shit happened to everybody that got taken away. Eh? Some were sexually abused, some mentally, some physically, you know, and uh, all, all different types of abuse. That abuse has turned inward. And then all of a sudden we're back with, we're back on the, on the reservation or in, in our communities and everybody's wondering why everything's so fucked up. Addiction's another word for addiction to the word dependency. True recovery is taking away the addiction and, and looking at yourself and doing battle with your greatest enemy, which is yourself. The indigenous peoples all over the world are, are uh, facing the same challenges as we are. Uh, they've essentially got the same history. Being out on the land is our religion way. Our ancestors were really strong, powerful people, you know, that they gave us a gift. And uh, even though it's really difficult, you know, just to count your blessings, because you have to realize that if you do count your blessings every day, you have lots to be thankful for. And the person is alive, you're talking to, you know, that's, that's great, eh? that's a great gift that they have. The four things that is really important in your life, and you have to take care of it, uh, with, with everything that you have is your physical and your mental, your emotional and your spiritual. That has to be intact all the time. And if it's off balance, you have to make sure that it's balanced again.